All right, so um, we created a page on Adobe Experience Manager. We did a few things on that page. What I'm going to show you here is a postlude or postlude to um, authoring of pages in AEM. So basically, these are a, a few tips and tricks that you could use as an author to help your authoring life make it so much easier or to um, make your authoring life so much easier, so to speak. So very quickly, let's go to the page that we created. Um, that was an uh, retail English and that was about us and that's the page we created so the first thing very quickly sometimes you can search for a page if the page has a unique ID searching it there you can find it very quickly and be able to pull it up so for example page one there and very quickly the page one appears there and you can edit it very quickly when you move your cursor to that icon or thumbnail there you can see that you have the edit option you have the select option when you select it you're able to change the properties you're able to lock the page and locking the page here just basically means you are excluding every other author from accessing that page now some authors might have rights that are higher than yours but for the most part they have to consult you to unlock that page for them to be able to do any changes if they want to do on that page you have the properties there you can update the properties very quickly and uh, you can do a few other things of course when you move your cursor there you should be able to get information about that page and basically the information is the properties that you're getting um, and of course you have there where you have quick actions you can quickly publish that page you can copy that page and paste it and use the same format for another page that is probably a sibling page and you can again go ahead and move that page so let's go back to that page and see a few other things that you can do on it again we spoke about uh, on this side of the page you know once you toggle that you're able to see a lot of things the first thing you're able to see all your assets there and that is the assets and so if you need to add an image to that page you can just drag and drop it boom there you have your image um you can do a few other things as an author you can go ahead and click on that and once you click on that you get to see all the components that you can add to that page so if you quickly want to add something like a form you can go ahead and click and drag and drop that form there <coughs> And of course, you can go ahead and click on that form and you have there the configuration. You can configure that form and fill in all the information that you need on that form. Or you can click on that and you have other options. You can copy and paste if you need two forms. You can cut that. You can delete that. You can insert an additional component there. And of course, a few other things like if you need some inheritance, then you have a parent there you can uh, convert that into an experience fragment and if you convert that to an experience fragment then you're able to save that and reuse that when you're authoring other pages and of course you can change the layout if you want but for the sake of this we are not going to be doing anything in fact we're going to delete that so again you can toggle there and you have all the components and then you can go ahead and add those components by dragging and dropping them there then you go ahead and configure them uh, last thing you can probably see is if you click on this and sometimes it might not be enabled for you but if it is enabled if you click on that you're able to see the um, the document uh, the, doc the document model for that page basically all the components that exist with it that layout container now the layout container is the outermost and once you select that you can see that it selects the outermost container you can see that is highlighted in blue and then you have the components that you've added and so you can even do the configuration of these components from this side you can change that you can edit that you can add metadata you can just say the, the images decorative and that has to do with the uh, accessibility options is basically making sure that your your content is compliant with uh, um, you know, the disability act and of course you know a few other things you can do there 
but very quickly once you toggle there you can see all your assets you can add what you need to add when you toggle onto that you can see all the components if you need to reauthor this page or add additional components you can do that there and of course finally when it comes to that you can click on that and you can see all the components that have been added and you can be able to configure some of these components by just clicking on them so when you click on that you can decide you want to edit that and so that saves you the trouble of scrolling up and down and trying to select the right component and very quickly again uh, you can toggle back to get your full view there you have a few other quick actions here same quick actions basically you looked at there and you can be able to see you can undo sometimes but sometimes that cache has not been saved well so undoing might not be a uh, very functional or maybe first second third degree undoing might not work as expected again this technology never works a uh, hundred percent the way you expect it to you know so again you can go to that and that's the emulator that gives you different viewports you are able to then select that and select the viewport and see if your content is optimized for that viewport for the most part the content will be optimized but you might want to change a few things you might want to hide an image you might want to do this you always want to make sure that you select that and you're able to do that and finally of course you have your preview there and that helps you to see the page alternatively you can use view as published again that should be able to show you what is happening and if you want to resize that then you can resize and see how it looks on different uh, published environments that's all for this